Nobody is better at targeting entrepreneurs on Instagram than Gary Vaynerchuk. He's got 2.9 million followers right now and they're growing every day. It's a channel that I haven't really considered too much in the past, but today I wanna to show you an experiment we did over the last week. Basically, I became Gary Vaynerchuk for a week and I wanna show you what happened. The reason why I'm copying Gary's strategy during this experiment, it's the easiest way to learn any new channel. Eventually, and what I'll probably talk about in a future video, is how our Instagram strategy conforms better to our brand. But when digging into any new channel, it's always good to look at the best of the best and see what they're doing. Looking through Gary Vaynerchuk's Instagram, it's clear he's got two main posts. One are tweets, and the other type of post is video content with subtitles. So that's the type of content we're gonna run with this week. I had Ronaldo, who runs our marketing, pull a bunch of interesting quotes from my content, from our content, and from these videos. And that's what's gonna fuel this channel over the next week. First, let's open with some baseline stats. Where was our Instagram at the beginning of this experiment? We posted about 2.5 times a day. Instagram followers were 2770. We had 3,213 Twitter followers, between zero and 0.5 leads a week from Twitter and Instagram combined. And on Instagram, about 28 likes per post. Here's the content we put up Monday. One thing that crept up recently, one thought is, am I doing a good job? Business as a concept is a very easy thing, right? You create a product, you sell it to somebody, they find value in it, they buy it. It was four posts total, and we jumped from that 2770 to 2786 followers. So about 16 new followers, Twitter followers jumped as well, and we got two leads that day. One was from an Instagram story, which I'll play right here. Reworking our pricing model for X27. So our sales team's putting stuff together there. It's a lot of stuff in the works. What about you? What are you working on? How's your Wednesday going? Check out this dog, by the way, it always barks. Hey, hey. <laughs> and the other one was from a direct message. 156 likes across all these posts and 17 comments, mostly from bots, looks like. Tuesday, the growth continued. Here are the posts that we put up on Tuesday. The first thing I wanna talk about related to this is having an empty bank account for the first time. I thought it was too easy. And what changed my mind about that was four posts were up to 2791 followers, 3224 followers, one podcast interview that we booked, 154 likes and 20 comments. At this point in the experiment, it became clear that it wasn't just our Instagram followers that were increasing. The motivational quotes we were posting on Twitter increased our Twitter followers as well. During the experiment, I didn't care too much about the content of the Twitter feed. So there were days where I would put four motivational quotes in a row within 30 seconds of each other. But for some reason, that increased followers and engagement on Twitter. Wednesday, we put up another four posts. Here they are. The time to transition from free work to paid work is when your free work is of high enough quality that somebody would pay for it. Work hard and revise because you only get one chance to wow an audience. We broke 2,800 Instagram followers. Here we are at 2,818. Only gained four Twitter followers. No leads, 140 likes, 19 comments. Let's keep going. Thursday, we had a technical glitch, which led to us only posting three pieces of content. The reason why you wanna have a custom case study for each industry is people are more likely to buy from you one of the videos we posted had messed up audio, so we pulled it down. And yet followers were still up, likes were still up, comments were still up. And the Friday results, here we go, four posts. When you're targeting a business that's maybe five, six employees and a lot of them are family, like a lot of these local businesses are, and the easiest way that I was able to break this is to think in frameworks instead of thinking about the actual words. We're at 2,859 followers, 3,237 Twitter followers, 207 likes, 19 comments. So how did the experiment go? How was becoming Gary V? Was it worth it? Was it something you should try? Well, here are our total results. Out of 18 posts over the week, we gained 89 followers. Two leads, one podcast interview booked, and 24 Twitter followers. Is that impressive? Not really, but it does show that a managed Instagram increases followers. So in a few weeks, we might circle back on this. I've implemented a new Instagram strategy based on these learnings. But for you, if you're gonna manage your Instagram based on this video, best practices are two to four posts a day using hashtags from display purposes. I'll link down to the Instagram video we did last week about display purposes and Everlaker. And this experiment, we only generated three leads in a week. 
which is still more than we've ever generated off Instagram, but I still wouldn't recommend copying Gary Vee outright. There's a better strategy in there if you think about it, something that's more aligned with your brand. If you go over to our Instagram right now, you'll see that the Alex Berman Instagram is all focused on entertainment and lead generation for our animation company. And the type of posts that appeal to that market are different than the market Gary Vee reaches, so you'll see it's a whole different type of content. If you found this video interesting, be sure to share it with a friend or two. We're trying to hit 100,000 subs this year, so any shares or anything like that would be much appreciated. And if you need marketing support for your digital agency, check out experiment27.com. Thanks.